again, it's one of those, it's an interesting little feature, I must say. Doesn't really do a lot, so we'll turn that off and quite frankly, I'll drive this tractor how I think it should be driven. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another review from us. This time it is all about this machine, which is the Kyoti HX1201 model. Now the new HX series from Kyoti first got its uh, UK public debut at the 2023 Lama Show. And that is where we first saw it, uh, to be fair. And when we first saw it, we had a look at it, we had a bit of a walk round of it, and we thought, you know what, we really want, we really need to try that tractor out. It certainly looked the part, so that is what we are doing uh, for this review. Now this HX series is part of a two model range, so you've got this one, which is currently the top model, and there's also a lesser powered one, which is the HX1001, which as you may be able to guess from its number, is about a hundred horsepower. Now, I've also been told that there will be a more powerful model on the way, which I think, fingers crossed, will be getting its debut at the 2024 Lama Show. Depending on when you're watching this, that may have already happened, or it may not have already happened. Now, this HX series replaces what was known as the PX series, and it gets quite a few updates, not least, it's got a new engine, which is built in-house by Kyoti, And also, it's got this brand new cab. Now, if you've never heard of Kyoti before, they are a South Korean company. And in terms of the uh, tractor builds, they pretty much build damn near all of the tractor, certainly all the key components. They've got their own foundry, so they make their own engines, they make their own gearboxes, their own cab. So pretty much, I mean, you could say this is a bit of a thoroughbred uh, tractor from Kyoti. Now, as for our test subject, which is the HX1201, it's got 120 horsepower, or there or thereabouts. That comes from a 3.9 litre four-cylinder engine. We've got a 32 by 32 speed gearbox. We can lift about 4.4 tonne. At the rear, it's got a three-speed PTO, and the hydraulic pump can knock out about 75 litres per minute. As ever, if you are watching this on one of our social media channels, unfortunately for you guys, this little teaser video will run out for you shortly, but fear not, head on over to that lampowertv.com where you can get the video in full. You can make your own playlist. We've got some more specs on there for you and there's no adverts getting in the way or anything like that and oh, as always remember to give us a like give us a follow and give us a share and more importantly if you can if you can spare a few quid for lampowertv.com go and subscribe as well so on with the show then we've got lots coming up for you we're going to go right through this tractor as we normally do talk about the various parts of it the cabin controls the engine and transmission the hydraulics and handling all that kind of thing coming up for you it is December 2023, so I think field work might be a bit limited, but as ever, we've got lots of buildings to muck out, so we should get a great flavour of this tractor for myself and for you guys watching as well. So, right, without further ado, we shall get stuck in. Right, ladies and gents, here we go. Time to try out this Kyoti HX1201. Time to give it a little bit of work, give it a little bit of something to think about. And I've got to say, I'm really looking forward to this because I don't think I've ever driven a Kyoti tractor before. This is the first time. 
I'm pretty sure I've driven a few Kyoto UTVs, but never a tractor before. So hopefully this should be interesting both for me and for you watching. And I've got to say, from the off, I'm really impressed with this five post cab frame design. I've said it many a times on these tractor reviews, the four post cab frame design, you know, for tractors like this, that you're doing, you know, you're around the yard, you're jumping on and off them, you know, opening, closing gates, things like that, moving stock. Those four post cab frames, they always end up, invariably, a lot of them have those big wobbly doors. But because this is the five post cab design, and it's got a big pillar on this left hand side, where it's got a pillar in the middle, basically. It basically means you get a really handy door, and it's a really wide opening door, proper straight line up the cab steps. No bending yourself and contorting yourself around the door, around the wing mirror, like that, to get yourself in. And once you are in the tractor, you can get yourself in a half decent, comfy position. There's a fair bit of uh, adjustment in the steering. So via a little pedal down here on the floor, we've got the old uh, rake adjustment there, which is good, that's nice and simple. Again, you can use that to help you get off the tractor, give yourself a bit more space. And then the old telescoping bit, you can do that, flick a little lever down here and it comes up and down just like that. In terms of in-cab storage space, I tell you what, it's doing all right to be fair. There's actually some really big sort of deep cubby holes on this left-hand side here. There's a big one here towards the back. There's a slightly smaller one here, but that's a big deep one. And there's a really big deep one here, just underneath that one. So you've got three big spaces on that side. And then on the right side, there's another little cubby hole there. Uh, you might want to slip your phone in there or something like that, because there is a USB port here. So you could power your phone if you put it in that little cubby hole there. And then there's a nice, big, fat, wide deep cup holder there so there's plenty of room for my brew today and no doubt plenty of room for like a two litre bottle or something like that and then around the seat especially to the left hand side apart from the uh, the mechanical part lock brake thing there's actually a fair bit of space around the seat as well so in terms of space and actually getting a few bits of things in here like important stuff like your dinner or you know your lunch your drinks things like that if you're out doing some field work there is lots of space. And if you are doing lots of yard work like this, there's lots of space for string and crap and stuff like that. As for overall layout, well, we'll start in the middle. Uh, you've got quite a modern sort of looking centre console, really. You know, the dash moves with the steering wheel adjustment, which is good, so that's always with it. It's in quite a good spot in terms of seeing it. The actual dash itself. Well, I mean, I've got to say that like the whole sort of centerpiece here this center console it's reminiscent of you know like your your 30 series deer or your, your 20 series deer or something like that it's it's kind of got that sort of look about it <laughs> 